Clio Parametric 11 now supports creation of simple tables in MBD. In this video, I will review various use cases of tables that can benefit users and accelerate their MBD adoption and reuse across the organization. First, let's start with the basics. To create a new table, all you need is to choose the desired annotation plane and then select the table size using the grid or the insert table dialog. The table is then attached to the cursor and you can place it anywhere you want. Once the table is placed, dedicated contextual ribbons will be shown as well as a mini toolbar with all the common formatting options that you might need. Also, as a CAD admin, you can create your own company template tables and display them in the Quick Tables gallery for repetitive reuse by your users or bring them using the table from file command. This is an engine assembly for which I need to create work instructions for the required torque values for each of the bolt types. Once I pick and place the desired table, I will get on-screen draggers that will help me to manipulate the table as needed. I can use hyperlinks inside table cells in order to navigate easier in my model and quickly understand the context. I can also add semantic references to table cells and then query them using the semantic query tool to understand their associativity to the geometry. If required, I can also copy the textile of a reference cell into multiple target cells and save me some time for formatting it. In another use case, I need to update a revision table with a new revision for my design. I can select one of the rows and quickly add a new one just below it. As I am doing that, the formatting of the newly added row is copied from the reference and I can immediately enter the needed content. Double click on the cell and start typing your text with the copied format. Then you can browse across cells using the tab and the shift plus tab keys on your keyboard or simply use a single click to the desired cell you wish to update. If preferred, it is also possible to update table content using the detachable text editor UI. In another use case, I can use tables for title blocks, in which I can leverage part parameters and call them out into the table cells. Before I am about to release this design, I need to add a security marking label for which I can define the desired line style, color, as well as its borders. Finally, tables can also be very useful for color coding cases. In this next model, I have surface finish specifications for every model surface, which is also directly associated to the table cell, and as the data consumer, I can quickly query the model and understand this associativity.